Uh, this this should be like Palo favor definitely. Oh yeah, right. definitely. Mm -hmm. He's got to do some work on this one. So hopefully Toasty will be able to take this. We got to represent CPP here, but we're gonna hop right into Pokemon Stadium two for game number one. I am a quick projectile trade, but Palutena having so many projectiles is going to lead to her advantage. Double Nair right there. He goes for the fair afterwards, but he actually catches the air dodge in with an up tilt. Weaves oh, the air dodge afterwards with a backer. Strategist has kind of had his finger glued to the trigger so far. Mm -hmm. and no double jump. Nice. Oh! Yo, even Ozzy was popping off. He took it. Nice counter by him. Was able to calculate it there. I mean, that was great stuff. Like, he already knew he was going to go for an air Yeah, no, that was, that was run off Nair in my head. But then he said, you know what? I got the counter on deck. It's going to blow him up, get the sweet spot of the up B down. Yeah, he did such a good job right there. And he knows that. He, he's seeing that stretch is really trigger happy on that uh, air dodge. And that's a big habit that he's going to be exploiting in the back air. Great down tilt, but can't lead it to anything else. And instantly, Toasty gets himself in that situation. The fair off the stage to force him into there. And, oh, oh, my goodness. Oh, he's chaining an up there. Oh. If he gets another one, that's death, but Shred just is able to land the F-Tilt, eats through the hill. He's done for. He's no, done these guys for. jump. No. <laughs> down tilt. He's oh, he's still alive. No, that's good. <laughs> Oh god, I, uh, this is like the, you can really see the weaknesses of Dr. Mario. Yeah. Like, oh goodness. It's like it's hard to assume that this character was considered better than Mario at the start of Ultimate. Like that's one of the worst things. I forgot people really thought that. <laughs> Oh, he looks for the forward smash on the neutral gap lead, but missed times. He had the read, though. Mm -hmm. He did have the read, but unfortunately able to find anything. And Toasty doing Ooh. such a good job staying alive. Immaculate DI. And Strategist is trying to find himself in a situation where he can get it. Yeah, that back up, uh, the up smash is pretty good. Like, even Mario has that. It's pretty strong. And, oh, uh, raw up smash like there. You can't really get away with that. And Toasty is going to go ahead and just take advantage of it. Down tilt doesn't hit out, but the F tilt surely will. And Strategist running out of options. Because he's definitely got to think of strategy yeah. for next game. I like the use of the counter edge guard from Toasty. Palu's counter, kind of a slow one, not really one we see uh, too much to edge guard with, especially with the Her capable nair, tools yeah. she has in Nair, back air, dare, mm -hmm. things like that. But, you know what? Toasty says, I know you're going to press a button to recover right now because Doc doesn't have good options outside of it. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I'm just gonna run off and abuse it. Yeah, he's got, he's got linear recovery. Like he can do a, like a wall jump or something, but like he yeah. can only get not so far. Not on Stewie's not gonna do it from way out yeah, there. You can do it like from like under the yeah. stage. I remember Charlie was doing some labbing to help recover off the wolf. He was doing some research on that one, but hopping back into the dock, Toasty's already got like a huge download already. You can't yeah. really tell. Yeah, really solid game one for him. All right, game number two, right into your Strategist versus Toasty, and Strategist definitely got to think of something, because he's not looking too good. Like, they traded projectiles at the start, but he's already, like, stuck in this corner. Yeah, dash tag just forces Toasty's oh, way no. through. Oh, no. Dude, he didn't just look at you. Like, yeah, oh we, <laughs> me and Toasty made eye contact, he just kind of struck, like, uh, all right. Yeah, we take those. Anyway, so Strategist not starting a three-stock game here. And he's trying to find the chance of zone. He's trying to get something down, like even a raw there. And actually, they trade Ariel, so gets the back out. But it's just the disjoints that Palatine in the house in the superior frame data. It's just simply overwhelming the Dr. Mario, who has nothing in comparison to it. Yeah, he looks for some sort of down throw into a reverse back here, but Tosi is able to just poke through with the forward air, catches the landing with an up tilt afterwards. Oh, and he just stood there. He's ready for it. He said, yeah, you're going to come right here. Oh, and he's so vulnerable. To the down tilt, like the two framing it has, tries to go for a counter. I do oh! right. plant those feet down. Yeah, he's dead. He's definitely dead. Yeah, and you know, maybe he thought if I go high, Tosi will drop down and counter once again, but Tosi had the download on it. Says, didn't work once, I'm sure it won't work again. I'll go for something else in the back. It does connect. Up there. Oh, he does miss the second one. The third one, I should say. At this point, I can't really count. And it's really unfortunate that, like, Dr. Mario, the least that he's got is like the projectiles, right? He can confirm it to them. But what more can you do when Auto Radical beats it, the side special beats it out, and Palatina can just literally just bust right through it using her back air and dash attack, and it's really showing the weaknesses of Dr. Mario. You can't even get anything down, and oh, goodness. It just looks worse and worse at this point. Yeah, it, things are really starting to run away from that. Just the forward smash catches the roll, and that's going to be a solid 2-0 for Toasty. I love 